During a game, there is often one person on the sidelines that's easy to overlook, but you can't ignore the sound of his voice. John Lawrenson introduces us tonight to a man who's calling the shots across the Twin Cities. You read chapters 19 and 22. We went back to the uh, traveling symphony. On a winter day in Minnetonka. So we jump ahead 21 years again. These high school students. What is that telling us about the character? Are getting an English lesson. I've been teaching for 30 years, and 26 of them have been here in Minnetonka. It's been quite a journey. I primarily teach uh, 12th grade English. You may not recognize Mr. DiLorenzo's face, but chances are you've heard his voice. I'm a theater speech debate guy and uh, who's always loved sports, was never good at it. <laughs> On this day, these basketball fans are getting a lesson of their own. When the opportunity came about, maybe late 90s, uh, in basketball, uh, I took a, a shot at the announcing gig and I just fell in love with it from there. Over time, Tony DiLorenzo's passion and experience grew. A little later, took over the football announcing and, uh, and did baseball as well in the mid 2000s. Now, let's play ball! I've announced obviously for Minnetonka, for Chaska, for Holy Family Catholic High School. Senior midfielder number 13, Nikki Albrecht! He soon expanded to calling Division I athletics at the University of Minnesota, where he is the golfer soccer announcer. Let's play soccer! And is a fill in for golfers basketball. Number 22! Non-stop year-round second career. My wife Naomi is amazing. She's extremely supportive. Uh, we both realize how important it is that we each kind of explore our own hobbies and uh, and kind of and so you know we we uh, do what we can for each other to do that. And she's she's made that possible. Oh, and if he doesn't have enough on his plate, he is also the full-time announcer for Minnesota United FC. Midfielder and captain number six. Ozzy Alonso! Back in 2013, they needed uh, a guy to sub uh, for, for the first three games of the fall season. And uh, I, I haven't missed a game since. Watching them go from um, second division to uh, first division soccer here in the United States and being a part of that, it's been pretty amazing. The crown jewel of his pro sports announcing career, having the distinction of calling the Loon's first ever goal during the inaugural game at Allianz Field in St. Paul. <laughs> Alonzo from, from, from long ways away and just to feel that stadium erupt and to, you know, say, you know, go Minnesota. I get chills thinking about it right now. It was amazing. Francois Diallo says, no, I believe you were very young when the Georgia flu came, when the collapse happened. Two careers, perfectly balanced. There's very few people who in, around in this particular, they get an opportunity to announce at the professional level. And I am just fortunate. There's a lot of people that can do this. I know that. And uh, so because I'm there, I uh, cherish that moment. In Minnetonka, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. And again, that was John alongside photojournalist Aaron Goodyear. DiLorenzo recently announced Gopher Gymnastics for the very first time, and he wants to eventually try his hand at high school hockey. No doubt he'll be great. Yeah. Great story. Talk about uh, well-rounded. Yes, I know. I would exactly. say. All right. We got